Howdy folks and welcome back to does any of this really matter we're just floating around on a rock and I'm terrified every day but intrusive thoughts aside you may have seen the quick fast and speedy influx of illustrated pictures on social media and mostly thanks to the app Linza but recently the app has come under fire for maybe stealing artwork or at the very least art styles but first if you're new to the channel damn you look really good but if you're subscribed you're dummy thick so subscribe to be instantly dummy thick it'll happen I promise so if you haven't heard about it yet Linza is an AI editing and picture generation software most famous for its magic avatars just throw 10 to 20 pictures at it give it a couple of bucks and you have got yourself a genuine illustrated PFP that's what the cool kids are calling profile pictures nowadays. So initially that is really scary for people that make a living illustrating PFPs. Because let's be honest, they look really good. This is some technological wizardry for sure. And at first, most people just bought the pack for some easy promo and some Instagram posts that look pretty neato torpedo. And people still are. Linza is making a shit ton of money, like a shit ton. And of course, being AI generated, it had to get the idea from somewhere. It didn't just pull it out of its ass. It uses a model known as stable diffusion. It had to be fed thousands upon thousands of images from artists in the public domain to tell it what it's supposed to look like. And that brings us to the controversy. Because now some people have pointed out artifacts of autographs and signatures left behind from artists that Linza borrowed from. So the big question on everyone's mind is, is this stealing? Because I can do a cover of a song or paint a picture in the style of Van Gogh, but it's not exactly committing theft. And yes, Linza is profiting off of other artists and their styles. And it feels vaguely unfair, even unethical. But unless Linza is actually copying and pasting snippets of artwork, it's going to be difficult to create any laws or regulations around it. Like creators on TikTok and other platforms have said, it is profiting off of the backs of artists. So visually, I, I thought it was fun. I posted. I didn't think there was anything wrong with it until I started getting a couple comments. But the one for me that was most impactful was from uh, my friend Amy Lopez, who's not only one of my closest friends, childhood friends, but she happens to be a phenomenal portrait artist who started to educate me on what was happening in the art world and this Lenza app. Don't use it. Part of what it does, it uses this AI stable diffusion model to sample artwork from artists that never consented to their work being used. So reading through a bunch of articles late last night, one thing is clear. It's art theft. And Lenza is set to make millions off the backs of real artists. What it is to me is scary for the people that make their living doing these illustrations. Because for a lot of content creators, especially ones that are just starting out, it's going to be a lot cheaper to use AI rather than commissioning somebody. And it looks a lot more professional to have an illustrated profile picture over an image that you would take at home with equipment that isn't really up to par with larger creators. It really helps smaller creators on these platforms look more professional. But look at someone like Beeple, a really famous digital artist with a style that he's spent a long time honing in. I feel like when I see art by Beeple, I can tell. But if you put Beeple into any AI generative software, you'll get something that looks vaguely Beeple-esque. So while it's not stealing per se, it definitely feels unethical. At the very least, like a lot of things, it's a gray area. A point that's been made quite a few times is that all art is just learned from somewhere else. Sure, the AI is learning from a huge sample size and building something out of that, but we do the same thing every day on a way smaller scale. Every song ever was influenced by someone, somewhere, in some way. Nothing is real, art is a lie. But what art is, is a lot of hard work, and I think that's really the problem that a lot of these illustrators are taking with Linza. I have a feeling we'll be creating some sort of legality around this at some point. It is sparking up some debate and in my opinion, protecting the livelihoods of the countless digital creators that this will affect is at least something to be concerned about. But whether or not it's theft is still in question. I wanted to talk about it because I have seen very few people actually give this topic the time of day. I only heard about it because a fellow creator posted a picture made by Linza with the disclaimer that it may or may not be theft. 
So I want to know what you think. Is this actually stealing? Is there anything wrong with this kind of generative AI art? I think it's probably important to err on the side of caution or at least take into account what it could mean when we use these images. The problem is, I don't think much is going to change if you and I decide not to use it. It's a profitable business. Millions of people are going to continue to use it and copycat softwares will continue to pop up. So the real question is, what does it mean for all of those artists that have spent their lives dedicated to the craft? What happens to them? But I don't know everything, I hardly know anything. So let me know what you think, and if you liked this video, consider liking, commenting, sharing with all of your friends and family if you have any. And subscribe to the channel to become instantly dummy thick, it'll happen, I promise.